Welcome back. Let's get back into it. Just jump straight back in there. As promised, the next goal, the next step in the process, I'm going to take my June bug here as that's my kind of my default for new experimental vehicles to try and save some Kerbal lives. The next step in the process, uh, I'm going to make a grunt. Where a runt is a success we have we've demonstrated that that particular configuration will work now i just need pretty much the same thing only larger larger stronger in order to carry to, in order to boost a um in, in order to boost a larger payload okay so i'm thinking that the front of this vehicle will probably be pretty much the same very very similar to runt Go ahead and I'll we'll use these uh, extra cockpit pieces. There we go. That, that's something. Uh, these guys, the, the extra cockpit pieces, you can you can just do this yourself. This is they're very very simple to make extra pieces. Just open up, um, you know, use the config files. Take take a look at how and you know change it into a strut. Ch take a look at how the config files are put together for cockpits and struts, and uh, instead of a cockpit, make it into a strut. It's really that simple. Give it its own, a different name. Give it its uh, a separate folder in the parts in the parts files. It's really simple. Okay, okay. Now the next step after that, do I want? Let's go ahead. I did something else again. The the cheap and easy way, just using config files to make to make uh. I'm it, inspired by the idea. This is a stock part, uh, the structural fuselage. Uh, just a, a, it's it's a piece of the airplane, but it doesn't contain any fuel. I just did exactly the same thing with the rest of the stock space plane parts. So let's use this is a structural piece, and use this structural piece. Uh, some RCS. We'll give it some RCS. That's good. And it'll also need the mass 38 solid rocket booster. The the front half doesn't really look long enough, does it? Yeah, I think that looks reasonable. Okay, okay. And now uh next step Let's go ahead. Where I need my rocket? Let's see. Let's think on this. Yeah, let's just do pretty much the same the same configuration as that other one. I'm, I'm imagine we'll have some. I'll have these guys up top. That's right. I can't just stack them on there. Let's do it this way. Yeah, we'll go with four for right now. I'm hope hopefully the the research the development of this vehicle will not be quite as long and drawn out as the first as uh, we've already got the the basics down. I mean the basic shape that I need. We've already worked out a whole lot of the issues. I already know that I need the structural piece with no fuel in the middle. I just I just learned as as looking through through the wiki. I've been all this time. I've been whenever I wanted to move the whole vehicle, I was as having to 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 click on the on the cockpit to move around. But you can click anywhere in the vehicle. Just do a shift click, click anywhere, and that'll move the whole vehicle. I didn't. I should have looked at that. I should have looked it up. I just learned that, so I feel like a a noob now for not knowing that earlier. <laughs> um. Okay. That's. I'm thinking some struts right now. Uh, probably the medium strength struts to hold these down because we're going to be carrying a bunch of weight on those because the wings are going to attach to them. I really hope that this is this vehicle. This is the one that's going to work for uh, getting the prospector probe up there. I've got other things that I want to get done in this in the course of the series in the course of telling this story. You know. Got to get things moving. Okay, okay. And uh, I'm going to remember back. I remember the original Grunt 45, the star parts that I did not record developing that one. I remember that this 
was the weak point of that design, the juncture between the solid rocket booster and the, the space plane fuselage. So I'm just going to anticipate problems and I'm going to use probably too many of these heavy struts and just really just strut the hell out of this thing. Whoops, let's do it the other way. There we go. It keeps on trying to attach there. Oh, I see that actually hangs over. Okay, well that works too. No, not the medium, the heavy. Instead of, you know, waiting for it to break and then deciding to put struts on it. Okay, that's nicely attached. Um, then I'll have the, the pylons in the middle that I'll be at attaching my two meter tanks and, and wings, to my two meter tanks and engines to. So, uh, let's do it this way. And now I'm also going to use the heavy struts on those because it's going to be, those things have to support a whole lot of weight. They have to support the whole weight of two meter tanks and two meter engines. And then whenever the vehicle, those engines are running, they have to support the whole weight of the vehicle plus the payload. So yeah, let's, let's reinforce the hell out of those things. Heavyweight struts. You might say, Matt, there's too many struts. You don't need that damn many. And, I, you know, I, you're probably right about that. But, I don't know, I'm kind of... Struts are like, they're, they're my good luck charm. Nothing, nothing can go wrong if you have enough struts on it. Okay. That looks very about just about as solid as I know how to make it. Oh, wait a second. Here's another one I can do. Go ahead and strut that thing back to the actual SRB. Okay, that's cool. Let go. There we go. Sometimes, sometimes it the game doesn't. You click on the cockpit and the thing doesn't want to let go of it. I'm not certain why it does that. Okay, okay. Yep, that's starting to look kind of familiar, isn't it? But just just the same as before, just bigger. <laughs> um, what do I want to do next? I'll go ahead and I'll put my placeholder. I guess we'll just do the basic two meter tank. We'll start off with this one for our initial testing. And let me see, we'll go with these standard 1.75 meter engine for basic lifting. Yeah, that works. Things are big. Let me see, we've got some nose cones for that. Never have too many struts. <laughs> yeah, how about that, huh? Yeah, I like it. It's looking pretty at pretty much as I had envisioned. I wonder if I should move those things backwards some. Let's try and center them more. About right about there. Strut still connected. Yes. Um at this point I'm gonna go oh, I'm gonna put yeah, let's start thinking about the wings. Uh, do a similar design, because I, I want it to be a tail, a tail dragger. Again, okay. And I'm going to anticipate this thing is larger, it's heavier, it's going to need more wing than the previous design. Yeah, about like that. Yeah, that's pretty slick, isn't it? Does that, does that look proportionate? Because early, just just one pair. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that we're going to go with the the two, like the extra wingspan up top and just keep this down bottom. We can tweak that later if it won't fly. But I like the looks of that. You know what it needs? It needs some winglets. Let's put some winglets on there. 
just occurred to me just this second. Ooh, that does look kind of cool. That does look kind of cool, if you ask me. No, nobody asked me. It's okay. Okay, so that's there. Let's go ahead and put a whole bunch of struts on that to keep it from wobbling around. What do you think the chances are this will work the first time? <laughs> they never do. Um, do I need heavies? No, we'll just, just stick to the mediums for this one. That the previous design, that runt, we saw that you know after it separated, after all the struts broke, it was still solid enough. You know, after after it's all lightweight, all the fuel is ex exhausted, it was still solid enough to land without damage. I'm kind of doubt that this larger design will also be similarly sturdy enough to survive like that. Okay, okay, while I'm here looking at this part, let's go ahead and throw some landing gear on here. You can kind of narrow track landing gear, huh? I think it'll be alright, though. Uh, okay, while I'm here, while I'm working with this, let's go ahead and throw a tail wheel on it. Uh, it's starting to look like an airplane to me. Uh, strut that top wing down some. Symmetry. Gotta love that symmetry. This is, this is, uh, I, th I think maybe obsessions with symmetry might be another, uh, 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 a point of similarity between diehard Minecrafters and uh, diehard uh, diehard Kerbal Space Program <laughs> designers. Symmetry is awesome. Okay, I like that. Let's strut the bottom wing to the lower wing, or the bottom wing to the top. Oops, bottom wing to the lower wing. Damn, what am I talking about? <laughs> Ooh. I like that. I like it. Okay, a uh, tail. Let's put a tail on the thing. Do a larger tail than we had in the other one. Wow, this is coming together just fast, isn't it? Okay, that's cool. Uh, let's do some more struts on that one. We just use the regular strength struts on this one, and it's not actually supporting like the whole weight of the vehicle or anything. Okay, I like that. Wow, this vehicle is almost done. Let's put some RCS ports on it. Should I put, go ahead and put a canard in front? Um, I don't know. It's got. It's already got a lot of a lot of pitch authority back there. And all this. I'm liking the looks of the thing. I'm liking it. Yeah. Okay. RCS ports. Ooh, landing lights. Landing lights. Gotta love them landing lights. Wow. I tell you the truth, I like it. Um, let me see, what am I missing? Let me see, that's gonna be a whole lot of weight and stress on these parts, because we're I'm planning to be stacking 46 KMUs on top of here. I probably should put do some reinforcement at this point. Okay, so um am I forgetting anything? We've got lights, we've got landing gear, we got RCS, we have SAS, we have wings. We have control surfaces, we have fuel, we have engines, we have the rocket booster, the solid booster. 
I think it's... Oh, staging. Here, let's take a look at the staging. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of important, Matt. Here we go. Put those there. Yeah, that works. Okay. Let's call it Grunt. Save it. Got enough parts. My, my computer's starting to slow down here. I'm running about 15 frames per second because of all this stuff. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Yeah, I like it. Okay, moment of truth here. Let's go for a flight. 